States. Adam Hancock reports. Christmas was far from peaceful in the central Philippines. Typhoon Panfon has brought sustained winds of almost 200 kilometers an hour and made landfall several times across a number of islands. The trail of destruction it caused is now becoming clear. Fishing trawlers tossed on the beach and seaside towns left devastated. Heavy rain has left many homes flooded. More than 16,000 people had to spend Christmas night in improvised shelters and at least 100 families have been left homeless. The rescue operation is underway and supplies are needed for those worst affected. A lot of people have lost their homes uh, and they need food, they need hot meals. So we're serving hot meals, but it's not enough, obviously, but uh, we're trying our best to do that. And water has been interrupted in intermittently in certain areas. So there's an awful lot of things to be done. The storm, also known locally as Ursula, first made landfall on Tuesday night. It passed over the central Philippines on Christmas Day and is now headed out towards the South China Sea. Filipinos are well used to tropical storms and typhoons, with around 20 hitting the island nation every year. The most deadly in recent times was Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, where a massive storm surge left more than 6,000 people dead. And many of the areas worst hit back then have borne the brunt of this latest storm. Adam Hancock, BBC News.